William Harrison was born in Barton upon Humberside on the 20th of May, 1728, and he died in 1815 and was interred in his father's tomb in St John's Churchyard, Hampstead, North London. The south face of John's tomb bears the inscription, and to his son, William Harrison, FRS. He was custodian of his father's prize-winning watch, H4, during the vital official trials at sea to Jamaica in 1761 and also to Barbados in 1764. He also actively helped his father in the long and difficult negotiations with the Board of Longitude and with Parliament when claiming the £20,000 prize. For many years, he was a prominent governor of the Foundling Hospital, teaching music to children, and was appointed High Sheriff of Monmouthshire in 1791. At the time of H4C trials, John Harrison was 68 years old and quite frail. So William undertook the testing to ensure that the watch was properly cared for and wound regularly each day because the dry spring only gave 30 hours duration. H4 had been fitting with maintaining power to keep the watch running properly whilst was being wound. And it was first used in the experimental John Jeffreys watch to which John Harrison contributed designs to try out some of his new ideas. He reduced the friction in H4 by using diamond pallets. For this watch, William created a miniature version of his father's prize winning low friction diamond pallet escapement design by altering the standard verge balance wheel. And while diamond pallets on the H4 chronometer watch were four millimeters long by one and a half millimeters thick, those on Harrison watch are comparatively minuscule. The watch's pair silver cases are stamped with the maker's mark TG, probably Thomas Gooch and Hallmark London, 1797. 